Hi, I'm about to clean this house right in its stupid face. So this is a little bit different than some of the other ones that I've done. This is a cluttered house. It's a gamer's house. And there are two rooms in particular that are pretty bad. Um, one is kind of like a man cave bedroom sort of deal. It used to be a garage and they converted it to a bedroom. The other one is the living room. And the thing that's different about this house is normally if a house is this cluttered, it's also really dirty. And this one happens to not be. Like I had to do a little bit of cleaning on the counters and stuff like that, but it was nothing compared to what I normally have to do. So this house ended up being more about organization than cleaning. About the dirtiest thing that I ran into was this bowl, and that is a common like green mold. It's fairly harmless. It's the same kind of mold you get on bread if it's left too long. So I'm not gonna really do anything special with these. I'm just gonna do the dishes really quick. Now while the dishes are soaking, I'm going to go into the bathroom and spray that down with, uh, I think it's Clorox with bleach. And the reason I'm, I'm doing that is so that it can sit for a while because that toilet had black mold in it. This table had acrylic paint and it was just real thin layers. So I sprayed that down with Mr. Clean and then used a Mr. Clean magic eraser to get all the main stains off of it. Then I went over it with Mr. Clean again to give it like its actual cleaning. And after I finished that, I used liquid gold on it because that's just how I roll, son. That's basically like just a, an oil for wood. And you can see how much it makes that thing shine. That will stay that shiny for weeks if it's not you know heavily used. Now the sink is pretty bad. I wish I would have got a better shot of this, um, but it's pretty stained up. So I, I poured a bunch of Comet on there and I just want to pour enough on that to make a paste and then scrub it down with a scouring pad. There's no special thing that I'm doing here. I'm just scrubbing the, the holy crap out of it. <laughs> While I'm at it, I go ahead and do the faucets and stuff too, because why not? I mean, Comet's kind of overkill for faucets, but... Now, that's good, but it can be better. So I'm going to use some power paste and that same uh, scouring pad. And again, I'm just gonna scrub the ever-loving poop out of it. <laughs> Sink poop. Somebody in the comments told me that I sounded like Butthead if he made something out of his life. <laughs> And to that I say, uh, you need to just shut up. <laughs> I guess that was pretty cool. <laughs> Now, 
Now that turned out decent, but it can turn out even better. So this time I'm going to run cold water in each side of the sink and put maybe, I think it was about a cup of bleach in each, which is really overkill. You can also see as these are filling up that they've got kind of a slow leak in them, but no big deal. We just want that bleach to make contact for a few minutes, then drain it, wipe it out, and it's good to go. Uh, this is a really old sink. I could get that even better than what it is now if I used a little CLR on it um, to get rid of the lime scale, but I'm not going that far. On this counter, there's a red marker mark, and so I'm just trying to get that out with power paste. I got most of it out, but red is one of the most difficult stains to remove, so I just got it as much as I could and then moved on before I actually damaged the counter. If I'm going to be known for anything, it's going to be how well I center my shots, as you can see with this giant case sort of deal. Symmetry is for the weak. This was shocking that this stove was not completely just crusted over. Like all that stuff that's up there, that's just uh, pizza crust crumbs. There was nothing sticky on it, no grease. So I'm just going to douse this down with Mr. Clean and then wipe it down. And then that brown stuff that's on the underside of those burners there, I'm just going to use power paste to get that off. Uh, nothing special here at all. We will be getting into some pretty dirty rooms here in a few, but I always start with the kitchen because it's typically the hardest room in the house to do. So I always start there, get it done, and then I make that, that room my workstation. That's where I put all my rags and cleaners and all that stuff. My system typically is, and this is kind of an unconscious system, I just do it naturally. I clean off one counter and then I use that counter that I just cleaned to set all of my implements of cleaning destruction. <laughs> but in order to declutter for me, in, or, in order for it to make sense in my head, I have to have a space cleaned so that I can move the, the really bad clutter from one area into that cleaned area. And it just makes it easier for me to see the puzzle come together. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but like for instance, I will clear off a table and I'll move all the clutter that's on the table onto like say the TV stand. Then I can clean up the table, move it back to wherever I'm going to put it. And then I can put the decorative items back on the table where they belong. And so I'm moving clutter from one surface to another surface. And then as I do that, the puzzle pieces start fitting together and things start finding where they need to be. I don't know, that's, that's the way I make it make sense in my big old skull brain.
So right here, that this is what I'm talking about. Like that table's pretty cluttered up. So I start finding places to put the clutter, but anything where I don't know where it goes, I put it on the TV stand and it, that's kind of its waiting area because I haven't cleaned the TV stand yet, but I am in the process of cleaning the table. If you're ever having to clean a house that's really cluttered and it feels really overwhelming, never think about cleaning a room. Like right now, I'm not cleaning the living room. Oh lordy, I finally found my butt pants. Check it out. Drink it in. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I'm not cleaning this living room. I'm cleaning this couch. And just before that, I wasn't cleaning the living room. All I cared about was cleaning off that table. And if you start breaking rooms down into small sections like that, it's way easier to get through a room because you're not overwhelmed with the idea of having to clean a very large space. More liquid gold on that table. Suck it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll wear a Vans hoodie with a pair of Nike's runners. I don't even care. I'm crazy, son. When it comes to computer desks and paperwork, I always am careful. I never throw papers away from a computer desk. I never clean keyboards. I never move things around because if somebody were to clean my computer without me knowing and they moved around a bunch of stuff that I didn't want moved, I would probably suplex them through a coffee table. So on this TV stand, all I did was dust it with a dry rag, and now I'm going back over this with microfiber cloth and isopropyl alcohol mixed with water and about three drops of Dawn dish soap. Then I just dry that off with a ultra-fine microfiber towel, and that's what gets rid of the streaks on glass. I really wish I'd have brought my carpet cleaner with me because this carpet really needs cleaned really, really bad. Um, I actually should probably make another couple of those videos. When I first started the channel, um, I had a couple carpet cleaning videos that I did, but I mean, they're low quality videos and the carpets didn't turn out as good as I hoped they would um, because I didn't know as much about stain removal back then as I do now. But I may have to make some of those in the future. We're going to get through this toilet kind of quick because I know people are a little bit squeamish on toilet cleaning videos. I just wanted to show you how easy that um, black mold came off of there. Like even before I scrubbed it, it was gone. Uh, the rest of the toilet I'm going to clean with Mr. Clean. After I'm done uh, wiping it all the way around, I throw away those rags. I mean, I surely I could wash them and they'd be fine. Um, 
but I'm not because rags are cheap and I'm a wuss. That stuff that's running down the front of that toilet is not urine. That is heavy, heavy lime scale. And I could have gotten that off too, but I'm not messing with lime scale today. This took about six and a half hours and I just needed to get this as clean as possible. So when this guy gets back home, um, he gets a really nice surprise. Now I would have gone a little heavier on this sink too, but this sink is actually cracked in three or four places. And I talked to the guy's sister about this bathroom and she said, if I could just get it clean, that would be great because they had started to do a remodel on it and they stopped halfway through and they were getting ready to kind of reevaluate that um, remodeling. So they're going to be tearing that whole thing out anyway. Oh yeah, that just happened. You saw right. This room was super, super clean. All I had to do here was I used a Swiffer duster on everything off camera. And then for this dresser, I just wanted to take everything off the top, clean off the mirror, and then uh, use liquid gold on the dresser itself. I just wanted to give it a little bit of shine. And then the, the top of the dresser looked cluttered. So forcing myself to clean the top means that I get to put everything back on the dresser in a more organized manner. I also realize as I'm watching this now that I forgot to put that little black lamp back on the uh, the corner, but I remembered it after I shut off the camera. So it, it is back safely on the dresser again. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, nun. I'm using the less is more approach to this room. This is a guest room. The, the owner of the house sleeps in here occasionally, uh, but for the most part, this goes unused until he has uh, family members come over and then they use this room. So I'm just getting everything made up, you know, the way you would a, a regular guest room. But the reason I'm rambling about it now is because these gigantic boxes were just stored in here. And then I realized the room has a his and hers closet that has never been used. There's nothing in there. So I just cram those suckers in that closet. <laughs> and the next person who opens that door is going to have a surprise. Uh, because I totally forgot to tell them that I crammed that stuff in there. <laughs> Here's the worst room of the house. This is the man cave slash garage slash bedroom slash Taj Mahal, I'm not sure what to call this room. Hangers? I hardly knew hers. There were so many hangers in this room that I had to get a tote for nothing but hangers. I filled that sucker too. Yep, 
yeah, this room was filled with everything um, that you'd expect from a teenager's room. Just <laughs> clothes, shoes, water bottles, uh, snack wrappers. I found like four boxes of unopened generic Ritz crackers in here. Like two gigantic family-sized bags of Kit Kat. I was going to make an, kind of an insulty joke about the 49ers here, but I don't give the slightest crap about sports. <laughs> I just don't. Now the same thing with this part here. This is another computer desk setup sort of deal. Um, I don't mess with anything around these areas. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking some of the clutter and getting it elsewhere. But the main clutter that's on the computer desk, that stuff all I'm doing is keeping things basically where they are, except putting them in just kind of a more stacked manner. I mean, somebody did that to mine and mess something up, I would come off the top rope, son. You would not even see it coming. Now you had a bunch of comics and uh, baseball cards and stuff like that too. So I stacked those in an area down by the bed. I don't think I got a shot of that, but it's just kind of Tetris together over there. There's two things I wanted to do in here. Uh, one was get those clothes folded because those are clean. And there are two baskets of those, but I didn't have time. Like I said, I'd already spent six, six and a half hours in here and I was getting exhausted. So I just put those at the foot of his bed and they can deal with those later. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was there was a giant shelf that was taken apart in the living room and I really wanted to find a place for that, but there just wasn't any place for me to store it. Blankets, more like stupid stupids. I'm not good with puns. Now the last of this room is going to be vacuuming and that was kind of difficult because it's, as you can tell, it's really old. That's super old carpet. And then they kind of patchwork together some, some other old carpet on top of that to kind of cover the holes. Um, so it was difficult to do this without catching the vacuum on something, which I think I do here in just a minute.
Yep, that sucked. <laughs> And that about wraps this one up. Here's a whole bunch of before and afters. Uh, we are almost halfway to getting the uh, YouTube plaque, the silver plaque, or whatever color plaque it is. We're about to get one. Uh, we're about halfway there, so if you haven't subscribed, why don't you take time out of your day of worshiping the devil and subscribe to this channel before I give you a DDT right onto the steel steps, baby. Uh, never even see it coming.